Hi everyone, welcome back to Be Rich. Today being Friday, I thought I'll talk about uh, two companies, Indian companies, Natco and uh, Karnataka Bank. One is in pharma sector, the other is in the banking sector. So, first of all, I want to talk about Natco. Natco, a couple of days back, probably now four or five days back, received a warning letter from the US FDA, which is the United States Food and Drug Administrator. And those guys oversee the production of uh, anything which is related to drugs and food for the American market. And Natco is one of the largest markets which they export to is the American market. And they've been having issues there as far as their production facility in Koto, India is concerned. So this letter points out there's been some violation in poor manufacturing practices that include in not keeping the facilities clean and not following procedures to ensure quality of the medicine. So some of the products that are being mentioned and uh, how accurate or clear is not really spelt out as we had expected in the letter. But the warning of the letter mainly hits on 30 bottles which have been recalled for a medicine called Lanzoparazol, which is a stomach acid related medicine, pretty much like your gelusin, as they would say, what we commonly use as an antacid. So it has not been created for the, the CGMP, which is the current good manufacturing practices and didn't fully comply with those standards. So it's being recalled. And that is why this letter has been issued by the US FDA. And this has uh, led to some investors worrying about these kind of letters and may have an impact on Natco and Na future sales for Natco. And the stock took a little bit of a beating. And uh, this led to a decrease in the price of Natco shares and meant the value of the stock of the company dropped because investors are seeing this as it being risky if these kind of letters appear. But despite all these uh, headwind news or you know tail news or whatever you would like to call it it is a report of significant growth in earnings natco for nine months ending december 31st 2023 the company has made uh, 3016.6 crore revenue which is much higher than 1884 crore revenue in the same period previous year the net profit has also dramatically increased to 1002 crores from uh, 439 crores from the same previous year if we look at and the company's outlook also remains very positive for the future and citing strong growth across in various uh, business sectors and also across the globe compared to the previous year, the company believes it will continue to grow on this. And over the last six months, despite these kind of issues, the stock has still managed to yield 16% and uh, indicates overall the stock has been performing well over the long period, which is an attractive buy for the long term investor. So, if you look at where the PE is trading at, Natco is currently trading at at a stock uh, PE of 13.7, which is well below the 15, which is considered value buy. And if you look at the debt, the debt is almost negligible and uh, the company is debt free, you can say, and it's giving, it's expected to give a good quarter with this coming quarter. And it also maintains a heavy, I mean, a very healthy dividend payout of 28%. Then if you compare across the board, it's peer analysis. If you see people who are in the same pharma sector, the companies. Like Sun Pharma is trading at almost 40, Cipla is at 28, close to 30, Dr. Reddy is at 19, and uh, Xylus is at almost 30, Mankin Pharma is almost at 60, Lupin is at 40, Aurobin Pharma is 22. So Natco seems to be the pick of the bunch. And uh, overall, if you look at it, it is a value buy for something we considered for an investor if you're looking at holding it for a long term. I know Anand has been talking about Natco for quite some time in his videos and he's been considering it and he's asked everyone else to consider it, that it's at a great point. But the problem is we always look back in hindsight and we feel that we missed it. So this is one of those opportunities. Over this weekend, I would like you to dive into Natco, take us as a weekend homework, look at the pharma sector, look at Natco compared to the pharma sector and then see, do your analysis. Put in your comments down below and what do you think about Natco? Is it right what we are saying? What do you think could be the dangers for an investor in the long term in a company like Natco? Do you think the price is it's overpriced or it's underpriced? I'd like to hear your opinions about this. And uh, questions which make more sense, I'll try and address them with Anand or by myself in a video this coming week. The next company which I want to talk about, or company or bank I should say correctly, is the Karnataka Bank. Karnataka Bank is a private bank. It's another stock or a company or a bank Anand has been asking you to consider for some time. 
and I also think it's a great consideration considering where the price to book is sitting right now. Price to book for Karnataka Bank is sitting at 8.88 and if you compare it to the peers of Karnataka Bank, HDFC is well above 1, it's at almost 3, ICICI Bank is at 3.5, almost reaching 4, Kotak is at 3.2 and Axis is 2.6 and Indicin is at 2.1, IDBI Bank is at 2 and Yes Bank is even at 1.79. So, Karnataka Bank is uh, looking very attractive in this space. So, the reason why Karnataka Bank's future also looks good is they have announced expansion of its collaboration with Wisdom to offer a three-in-one savings DMAP trading account and through the bank's mobile app. So, they are expanding their customer base, they are getting more aggressive and their plans to qualify institutional placement as QIP to raise over 600 crores aiming to reach 1,500 crore capital target with 800 crores already secured through qualified institutional placement which is QIP. The bank intends to repay 360 crore of Tier 2 bonds by Feb, aiming to improve its overall capital structure and reduce its liabilities. And focus on reducing NPA and aim to achieve 1 trillion rupee in gross advances by 2026. So, the share price of uh, Karnataka Bank has been under pressure due to its shortfall in performance in December quarter and the market downturns. But if you look as a value investor and if you're looking at it long term, like what we used to look at other banks, and used to ask us to consider a few years back now, we can see huge dividends in these banks in terms of share price, capital appreciation. We do feel Karnataka Bank is poised to achieve this kind of growth for the long term. If you both these companies which I mentioned today, Natco and Karnataka Bank is something which I would ask you to consider only for the long term because we are looking at value buying and we are looking at places to pockets of value where we can put our capital and watch it at least appreciate over a long period of time. Yes, lots of you have been reaching out to us over in Twitter and Instagram and constantly asking us for a list of stock, list of stock. The thing about investing, especially value investing is it is very boring, it is very repetitive and it, there's not much change and that is what makes the value investing road less risky compared to other things like trading and uh, buying and selling in the short term. The reason why value investing is very boring and low risk is we tend to repeat find these pockets and market seems to ignore these pockets for a long time and we seem to be pecking away at it and adding value to ourselves and our portfolio over a long period of time till the market wakes up to the news. We have seen this happen repeatedly with many companies over the years. If you take Anand's catalog of videos over the last five years, six years and you go through his videos, you will be able to see this pattern repeatedly being played out where we will tell you guys, hey, there is a pocket of value here, let us look at this company and then lo and behold, a year or two has gone by and the market has woken up to this company thinking it is fabulous and it has gone through the roof. We did do a video with Anand in the end of December where we did this kind of a review of all these kind of companies over a period of a year which have shown tremendous growth in capital appreciation. So, this is why we ask you to do this. I am not asking you to consider these just because I am saying it or Anand saying it. I would like you to take, I would like you to take some time over the weekend, deep dive, read about Karnataka Bank, see the other banks, see where Karnataka Bank is, see if it makes sense of what we are saying is true or not true. This applies to Natco and also applies to Karnataka Bank. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will see you in the next one soon. Bye. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.